hey guys what's up you welcome back again to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my delicious tasty strawberry cake without baking so sometimes the kids they like to eat cake and i don't have time to bake the cake so i just use this simple method in making cake for them so for this recipe i'll be needing one pack vanilla sponge cake base as well as one pack fresh strawberry fruit and one such as strawberry powder so for the other recipe i'll be needing i'll be needing a uh, vanilla extra sugar milk eggs salt to taste and also cornstarch in making my custard pudding okay all right guys so before i start it's time for me to just go ahead and start washing or cleaning up the fruit so i always take off the the flour out from this uh fruit okay before washing it so i'll be cleaning up the fruit twice just to make sure it's clean and also free from any external bacteria okay so right guys, so after repeating the same process twice, I'll then go ahead and use my knife to start uh, cutting the fruit into smaller section. Yes, that's because when I bought the fruit, the fruit was big, okay? So I don't want to just go ahead and use big fruit. So if yours is small, just go ahead and use it just like that or cut it into two or according to your preference guys, okay? After cutting all of the fruit, I'll then go ahead and sprinkle one tablespoon sugar on the fruit and this will give the the fruit a very good taste okay to enhance the taste of the fruit so after mixing together i will then set it aside and then let it coat while i move to the next step so right now it's time for me to make my custard pudding for the cake so i just broke one uh, egg into the pot right here so the shell fell into it so i'm just removing the shell out from the egg before whisking the egg so after whisking the egg for a few minutes, I'll then go ahead and add in one cup milk and then also I'll be adding sugar to the, the milk as well, which is a 60 ml sugar, okay. I'll also be whisking again for the sugar to dissolve. After a few minutes of whisking the, the mixture, it's time for me to just go ahead and add in my pinch of salt as well as half teaspoon vanilla extract and once again I'll be whisking all this together for it to combine guys so after whisking the mixture together i would also go ahead and add in my cornstarch which is a one tablespoon and a half cornstarch so at this point i want to make sure everything is well dissolved into the the mixture okay yeah so after dissolving all the cornstarch into it i'll be transferring it into my to my cooker okay so here i'm going to just cook this in a medium heat for the next few minutes until the mixture ticking together okay so make sure you are stirring it always like don't stop stirring it just keep stirring it that way you will avoid lumps from the custard pudding okay so right now i'm going to just keep that aside while it is ready and then move to the next which is to just take out the the cake out from the pack okay guys so this is how i make my quick uh, cake or my quick strawberry cake for my family and kids if i'm not ready to bake guys okay so after taking out the cake from the pack i'll then go ahead and then pour the hot uh pudding into the cake just like so and use my spoon to just spread it out on the cake okay so make sure you don't stain the the edges of the cake when you're doing this so immediately after doing this i'll then go ahead and start laying my my fruits on the uh, the cake just like this okay yeah so i'll lay all the fruits on the cake until i am done laying all the fruit so after doing this i'll then set this outside okay and then move to the next step which is to make the jelly okay so to make the jelly i'll be pouring one cup of water into a pot once again and then add my sugar into it yes so after adding the sugar i'll be using my spoon to just give it a little stir yes after stirring it i'll be uh, pouring the the strawberry powder into the water so this strawberry uh, powder the pack contains a uh, gelatin and um, strawberry powder inside so there is no sugar added okay so that is the reason why i added uh, sugar to the water just to give it taste just to make it a little bit sweet and so yeah so after stirring it together for it to dissolve i'll be transferring this once again to my cooker and then start to cook it 
and to cook this i'll be cooking in the medium heat until the jelly starts to thicken yes so at the point you see the color will start to change from one to another from one stage to another before you know it is going to be something like this and when it's like this it's ready so i'm going to just turn off the heat and immediately i'll be uh, pouring this on my cake guys okay yeah so make sure you don't let it cool down because it's going to solidify yeah so i'll be pouring this all over the cake so for the edges i don't want the the jelly to stain the edges so i'll be using my spoon to just scoop out from the jelly and then carefully just um place it on the edges okay and then let this sit for two to four minutes for the jelly to to get firm a little bit before you serve it okay yeah so you can see how the cake is looking it's looking delicious already guys yeah and it was very quick and easy to make and it came out so tasteful guys okay so if you're a beginner just go ahead and give this a try you will definitely love it all right family so this will be the end of the video if you like my tutorial if you like my video please before you leave give me a big thumbs up like my video share my video to your friends and family and also subscribe to my channel turn all the bell for you to get my new video update thank you once again for watching and i will see you again take care bye guys